Next thing, soundproofing. Designed to prevent your panels on your van from vibrating while you're driving around and it reduces the noise from the outside so if someone's speaking and you're on the inside of the vehicle then you shouldn't be able to hear them. And what we're going to do is just, uh, it's sticky sided so we're just going to peel it back and stick it to the big panels in the van. Now the stuff I bought from eBay comes all the way from China. Uh, this was about $88 and it's exactly the same thing yet it uh, looks slightly different. But I'll just uh, finish off covering that one. Okay, so once I've uh, peeled off the sticky back layer, I'm trying to follow the contour of the wheel arch and at the same time trying not to overlap anything so as you can see here I've kind of stitched bits and pieces together to make it match the outlines and contours of the wheel arch so these aren't usually a feature that uh, you see on wheel arches but because it's a minibus they have weldlets I guess you can call them they allow the chairs to be fixed onto so we just have to work around it okay so this is the resulting coverage of the wheel arch. So I think I used two and a half of these sheets and managed to cover up just about everything. For the bits where there were gaps, what I did was on these parts I picked off the, the gum, the rubber stuff, and packed it in the gaps just to uh, kind of seal off all that um, holes. I don't know if it makes much of a difference to be honest. This is the Peng Jing, and I've just covered the entire wheel arch, as per before, the underdog. Just to uh, show you, I've uh, done all the inside panels, and on this side as well. I've got the door to do yet, but then I've also covered this, because the engine block's underneath here. This black stuff is actually soundproofing that the manufacturers put in, so that's perfect. And uh, I'm going to show you the roof. So right now, listen. Soundproofing test. Much, much, much better. Good morning everybody. It's a new day. Today what I'm going to be doing is insulating underneath the floor and insulating on the walls. I removed a big old air conditioning unit which was right here. And it just opens up the entire cavity. I found these on the street. I bought these from Bunnings for $12 each. I'll put the eBay link in the description below. Spray glue. I'm not sure if this will be enough, but we'll uh, see how we go. We have two sheets that are finished and the other one here. So we've just got some uh, overlapping material here that we're going to use a razor blade and cut that off with. Okay, so you see this has turned out right enough. Fit the layers in and then stick them onto the board. Matt, the reflectix, then the plywood. Okay, so let's continue the insulation. I've got myself some more spray glue. And we've got ourselves some insulative wrap. So I'll put the link to this in the description, but it's basically it's a thin, non-glass, particle version of, of fiberglass wool. So what I'm gonna do is cut it to shape and fit it within the panels that we removed and have it to be soundproofing on.
that's our insulation complete. So in effect, what we have, woolly insulation, we have the Reflectix, and then we've got some polystyrene. Please subscribe.